My dear, today I want to share something meaningful and serious with you. Are you waiting for someone to confess their deepest feelings for you? Are you hoping that someone will express love and let you know that they feel the same way about you as you feel about them? Perhaps you've already shared your feelings with this person or hinted at the depth of your affection, and maybe they even asked you to wait. But think carefully, are they genuinely making an effort to come closer to you, to meet you halfway? Often, when we find ourselves in love, we start wishing and hoping that the other person feels the same way. We may spend time wondering if they'll come around and express the feelings we're waiting to hear. Yet sometimes, in our longing, we don't consider the possibility that the person we're waiting on may not feel the same way. It's easy to assume that someone who treats us kindly might harbor romantic interest, but there's a real possibility that they are simply a kind and caring person. Until someone openly confesses their feelings, we cannot be sure of what lies in their heart. While it's natural to hope for love, it's important to remember that our happiness cannot depend on another person's validation or confession of love. You are responsible for your own happiness, not anybody else. Waiting for someone else to fill your life with joy can lead to feelings of disappointment or inadequacy. It's easy to think that love from another person will bring us happiness, but joy isn't something another person can provide, it has to come from within. A person can be happy even if they're on their own, and sometimes, true happiness comes from deep self-discovery and personal growth. We all need to search within ourselves and identify what brings us real joy and fulfillment. There is a unique purpose in each of our lives, and once we find it and work towards it, nothing and no one can prevent us from attaining the highest level of happiness. This purpose may be a career, a passion, a project, or simply becoming a better version of ourselves. Once you are aligned with your purpose, you'll find that you don't have to rely on anyone else's approval or affection to feel whole. If someone truly loves you, let them come to you of their own will, in their own time. It's not necessary to keep waiting endlessly, hoping that their feelings will match yours or that they will move towards you. Whether they do or not is their choice, and it's a decision they alone must make. Respect their autonomy in this, and release yourself from waiting on another person's actions to feel fulfilled. Life is too short to pin your happiness on something as uncertain as someone else's potential affection. Each of us is born into this world alone, and ultimately, we will leave it alone. This doesn't mean we can't enjoy relationships, connections, and love along the way, but it does mean we must build a foundation of self-worth and happiness that doesn't rely on anyone else. You don't need anyone else to tell you that you're beautiful, intelligent, or amazing, you should be able to recognize these qualities in yourself. You are already the best version of you that you can be, and you are fully capable of creating your own happiness. Even if you find yourself with someone you deeply love, it's important to remember that your happiness remains your responsibility. Your mental peace and serenity are entirely in your own hands. No one else can understand your heart and mind as completely as you can. It's a good practice to give yourself the love and kindness you hope to receive from others. When you nurture yourself in this way, you may come to realize that you have always been enough for yourself. Loving yourself fully and appreciating who you are will allow you to see that happiness is something you can create on your own. Respect who you are and embrace every part of yourself, knowing that you are amazing just as you are. Always remember that you are the best version of yourself and that you have so much value and worth. Never fall into the trap of thinking you cannot be happy without another person by your side. That belief is simply untrue. Happiness is a state of mind and heart that you can nurture, whether you're alone or with someone special. You can be happy, you will be happy, and above all, you deserve to be happy. Happiness is your birthright something you can cultivate and protect within yourself. 
So don't wait on someone else to tell you that you're valuable or to bring you joy. Embrace your strength and joy within, and live your life with a spirit that radiates true happiness. My love, there isn't a day that goes by when I don't think about you. Every morning, every evening, and countless moments in between, I find myself longing to run into your arms, to feel the warmth and comfort that only your embrace can bring. Sometimes, the yearning is so intense that I feel an overwhelming urge to shatter every boundary and restriction that holds us apart, to break free and go far away with you, to a place where it's just us, where nothing and no one can interfere. Though we may be separated by distance, my heart remains with you always. Our connection is too strong, too profound for any amount of distance to weaken it. You are my heart, my soul, and I carry you within me wherever I go. The physical separation is just that, physical. In every other way, I am yours, as fully as if you were right here by my side. No one in the world has the power to make me stop loving you. This love, this connection we share, is unbreakable, and no one could ever take it from us. Every night, before I close my eyes, I pray. I pray to God to keep you safe, to keep you happy, and to keep that beautiful smile on your face. I may not be able to see it right now, but I feel it in my heart, and I know it's still there lighting up the world around you as it has always done. This hope, this faith, keeps me strong even in moments of doubt. I have unwavering confidence that, no matter the obstacles, we will find our way back to each other. Our love is pure, true, and bound by a strength that time and distance cannot diminish. We may face delays, but that is all they are, delays. Our love story is not one that can be altered by time or circumstance, and I know that, in the end, we will reach our true destination together. My love for you is constant and unchanging. Please, never doubt this. In fact, every day apart only makes my love for you stronger, more resilient. When I feel overwhelmed, when the weight of missing you becomes too much to bear, I find myself crying for you. There are moments when I simply cannot control the longing I feel, and the tears come. Your pictures have become my closest companions in these moments of solitude. I talk to them, as if they could somehow convey my words to you, I kiss them, wishing it was your face I could touch, I even cry with them, knowing they are the only way I can feel close to you for now. As I write this letter, I can feel the tears welling up in my eyes. My heart aches, but there is no bitterness in that ache. It's a reminder of how deeply I love you, and I cherish even this pain, knowing it comes from the intensity of my feelings. Never, not even for a second, think that I could ever forget you. To forget you would be like forgetting to breathe, like trying to live without a heartbeat. You are a part of me, woven into every fiber of my being. My love for you is boundless and senseless, a love that knows no logic or reason, it simply exists, unwavering, unbreakable. I know that there are people who don't understand this love. They may see my devotion as foolish, as though I'm fooling myself, but I know my heart. This love is real, it is strong, and it has purpose. I believe that we were meant to find each other, to be together and to show the world what it means to truly love another soul. I believe that we are destined to set an example, to show others that love can be pure, that it can be unwavering, and that it can survive even the most challenging circumstances. One day, when we're together, I'll write a book about our journey. I want to share our story with the world, not for recognition or praise, but because I believe it could help others understand the depths of love. When I see people around me misunderstanding love, reducing it to fleeting moments, casual dates, social media displays, and temporary pleasures, it saddens me. Love is so much more than that, and I feel as though our story could be an example, a source of inspiration. I hope that even just one person might look at love differently after reading about us, 
that they might understand that love is about more than surface-level gestures. True love takes time, patience, and a willingness to truly know one another. This generation seems to be in such a hurry, rushing into relationships without taking the time to truly connect, to understand each other on a soul-deep level. They confuse physical closeness with emotional closeness, and that only leads to emptiness. I hope our story will be a reminder that true love is about connection, understanding, and depth. It's about being patient and trusting in the journey. I hold on to this belief, and it keeps me strong. I know that our love has a purpose and that, one day, we will fulfill that purpose together. Until then, know that you are in my heart, always, and my love for you will never waver.